with the, um, you know, the book, The Four Agreements has made such a huge impact on my life and, and that whole idea of being impeccable with your word and those, those things that you say to, say, say to yourself uh, on a regular basis, um, that negative self-talk, that internal dialogue like Tom Shea um, talks so eloquently about, um, but having that negativity as cancer counteracted with this chemotherapy of personal responsibility that's gonna take you on a wild, difficult journey, but ultimately will, will save your life. The idea of being impeccable with your word to me is, has been so huge in my transformation over the last few years and auditing the things that I would say to myself. Yeah. Uh, say to myself. Um, realizing the power of the words that you have over yourself. Right. Um, using words like never and always <laughs> right. and things like that. Yep. And to me it was just, I looked at it from the beginning as just the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. But there's so much more to that internal dialogue than people yeah. realize. Right. And people don't realize that they're sabotaging their day, sabotaging their career, sabotaging right. their relationships not because of the conversation that they're having with those people, but the internal dialogue that they're having with themselves before they even get to the point to have a conversation exactly. with somebody else. Right. So I was home for two weeks. I got to spend time with my daughter, who's 11 months old. She turns one on the 20th, which is just crazy to think that she's gonna be one years old. So I got to spend a lot of time with her. When I left to go back on the road last night, that was one of the most difficult things I've done in a while, was leaving to go back on the road to be gone for four nights again, like I am three to four nights every single week. And so you start fighting these, this, this internal dialogue, this, this battle, right? You start, start fighting this battle of that person that says, hey, you don't, you don't need to go back. You don't need to be gone four, four days this week. You can be gone two days. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Look how much money you've already made this year. You've already made more than you made in 10 years combined this year. You're good. You don't need to be gone all, all week. Or hey, you're gonna be gone this week, why don't you take next week and be home again? It's always constantly fighting these things that want to take you back to where you were and always pushing forward to where you wanna be. You're never gonna stop the negative thoughts from entering your brain. It's, it's a conscious effort to not allow them to, I guess, not bear fruit, but like, not to allow them to stay there. Like right. they're gonna come in, you just have to be be able to make the decision to, to let it come in and let it float right back out and not not hold on to it. Um, because they're all, it's always gonna be negative thoughts. And, and you know, there's a whole re like religious aspect to this that would say that the enemy, that that's how the enemy, the enemy it being the devil, the enemy doesn't, you know, people think that the, the, the greatest way of the enemy is temptation but it's not it's self-doubt it's anxiety it's it's these things that are those thoughts in our head that keep us from doing what what we ultimately could do by distracting us uh, with all of these thoughts and those thoughts will always be there yep. uh, but it's it's learning not to pay any attention to them or it's learning also to equip yourself with different types of affirmations sure. um, ways to just remind yourself uh, remind yourself of situations uh, that you've been in in your life and you did do the right thing and this is what was a result of it. Different affirmations of just telling yourself, um, you know, different positive things that would counter any type of negative stuff that's coming in because unless you can ignore it and then reaffirm yourself that that's not you, um, that just because you did that, a lot of times it'll be stuff that you did, you know, that, that'll get brought up and, and haunt you for years and years and years and you think, oh, well, I did that, that's just who I am, that's right. who I'll always be. But to be able to move past that and to start giving yourself affirmations of, of things that you've done that were positive, that's that, right. that that's not who you're always gonna be, that's just something that happened. You just gotta keep reminding yourself, past is the past. You are who you are, who you are in this very moment. And, um, and for me right now, that's a great thing. It's a great thing, uh, but it's a good reminder for everyone that that internal dialogue is real and it's something that you will battle with all your life. You just have to learn how to silence it. You have to learn how to be able to uh, control it.